This is John Kemp's home of East Veloxi. This is John Kemp's house. And this is John Kemp in his kitchen. Mm. It really is good. This is a film about John Kemp and a can of chili. <laughs> so who is this John Kemp? My name is John Kemp, and I'm from East Biloxi. East Biloxi, Mississippi. My name is synonymous with this community. Just go around Biloxi, knock on doors, ask, hey, you ever heard of John Kemp? I'll, they'll tell you. Kemp, my grandfather. He was one of the few people, sharecroppers from Alabama, that moved here and helped establish East Biloxi. So I literally have blood, sweat, and tears in this community. John Kemp is also a military veteran and a celebrated hero for being first on scene when a tour bus was struck by a train in 2017. I've never known anybody that just loves where they're from so much. We need people like that. What do we do to make a sustainable East Biloxi? How do we attract business? How do we get people? How do we retain our talent? So most of these young people in this area are considered at risk. <laughs> these quote unquote at risk, these kids are high performers. Opportunity and direction, they don't have a lot of that. So that's what I do. John Kemp has proudly helped countless kids find their path, but the kids he is most proud of? So I got three best friends, and they're all my, my three very impressionable young men. You know, July 28th at 2.14 p.m., John Trez D'Angelo Kemp was born. He was gonna be a mechanical engineer. He's at Auburn now. He lives right outside the University of Auburn. Son number two. Xavier Kemp. He's slated to go maybe to Naval Academy or Air Force Academy. He's kind of picking and choosing. And last but not least, Tarston D'Angelo Kemp. That's my little heart. I FaceTime with him on a pretty much daily basis. He's 100% German. Can't afford to go to Germany twice a year, but I do. I've been with two of the three on multiple occasions, but all of us in one room has never happened before. Now let's get back to the chili. Chili is very much a part of my life. <laughs> John's grandmother. Big mama. John's big mama was a cook. And I would watch her turn nothing into a full five course meal. But not on Saturdays. Big mama would always say, John, come in. Did you run down into the store and get me a can of chili? And it was Harmel. My kids to this day, they're eating Harmel chili. One day, John was vacuuming. And I see Adam Thielen comes on. So I say, I like this guy. It's not a touchdown without celebrating. And it's not game day without chili cheese dip. That's why I'm teaming up with Hormel Chili to send a football fan to the big game next year. To show me your best chili dip touchdown dance using a can of Hormel Chili, and you could win. Grabbed the Hormel Chili out, ran to my office, <laughs> and just started making up stuff. Then you bend at the knees. Dip, baby, dip. So I tweeted out the video into the contest and poof, didn't think nothing of it again. And I get a tweet. <laughs> Nobody tweets me. And basically it said, how would you like to be the grand prize winner? And I said, can you please tell me if this is true? Because I got high blood pressure. Please don't play with me like this. But it is true. John has won a trip for himself and one other person to the big game. I'm like, well, you know, I got three kids. And um, if I took one, the other two are gonna be mad at me. So Hermel decided to take all three. I was like, you do realize I got a kid that lives in Germany. <laughs> and it's the first time we've all been in one place ever, actually. I get to see my three boys at the same time, at the same moment. That brother to brother, that those three are gonna communicate all three together, and they're gonna look back at me as dad, it just blows my mind. The fact that that's gonna actually take place. That see it, believe it, achieve it thing is real.
I feel like I won the lottery every day. <laughs> <laughs>